Welcome back to the channel guys. It is me AD744. So today guys, I just got back from the event. I haven't even really got time to change and I just want to go ahead and just look over the MLS see how it ended for both Eastern and Western conferences. We'll be dropping predictions video when the time comes. I'll probably do like a YouTube short for the wildcard round. And yeah, like I said guys, so remember guys to like and subscribe. If you guys do enjoy football content here on the channel, remember guys, we'll be discussing about that. I'm of course, I'm very excited that Charlotte made the playoffs. We finally did it. We actually flipping did it. I'm so, so pumped, so excited. And it's, it, it was just so much pain. <laughs> Oh, man. Anyways, let's go ahead and uh, let's just get started. Let's start with the Eastern Conference first since I conclude that obviously is the conference I'm more familiar with. Um, you know, I'll still talk about the Western Conference, though. So as you can see right here, guys, the Eastern Conference, uh, obviously Toronto FC finished bottom. They were simply abysmal. Like, they were really bad. Obviously, Michael Bradley's retired as well. So it'll be interesting to see how uh, Toronto replaced um, Bradley in that sense. Inter Miami, we knew they were terrible. They were last in the league for a long period of time until Messi came in. And things kind of got better, but ultimately it wasn't quite enough for Inter Miami as they lost crucial matches to Cincinnati. And I think they lost to Atlanta United, and that was ultimately wrecked them. Uh, then the Chicago Fire, um, they had a good start. They were in a great position until they lost to, uh, what is it called, Charlotte at home and New York, Red, uh, New York City FC. DC United, very disappointing. I think Wayne Rooney has left the club. I did not expect them in this position. Um, you know, when they have the likes of Benteke and all. And New York City FC, very disappointing. I'm very shocked with New York City FC. I think this is the first time they missed the playoffs since 2015. And they were like one of the best clubs in MLS last season in the Eastern Conference. I think they finished fourth. So very surprising. They didn't they weren't able to do as good this season. Montreal were so close. In fact, they were actually in the wild card round position. It's just that New York Red Bulls, which we'll get onto them later, they scored a 93rd minute winner from Tolkien. Their left back scored the winner from the penalty spot. So I feel bad for Montreal. Obviously, as you guys don't know, I'm actually was born in Montreal, so Montreal is kind of a club that's like close to me. It has a special place in my heart. So you know, it's it's kind of a shame that they didn't make it. Obviously, Charlotte, we we managed to do it. <laughs> we managed to do it because I was actually looking at last season, guys. I think last season we actually finished on 42 points. And I think we even finished the same exact position, ninth place. And this time, we only got one point better. So really, honestly, this season was pretty much the same. But honestly, guys, we should have done a lot better. There was a lot of games which we won, we tied or lost that we shouldn't have. And there were a lot of games we dropped points. So we should have picked up more points. We should have honestly been in the main position. We shouldn't have even been the wild card. But obviously, with the MLS expanding their thing, I'm grateful for it, obviously. But if I'm being really honest with you, we have to do better next season. The New York Red Bulls, uh, they finished 8th place. They were on course to missing out the playoffs. And that would have been the first time since 2009, I think, they managed to barely squeeze through. So, shout out to them. Nashville FC, of course, the League's Cup finalists. They actually were really good, guys. Um, Nashville, they put up a good effort. And I think this is a very decent team. Uh, very underrated team, I'd say. Atlanta United, of course, we know how good they are. Uh, didn't do as well as I thought they would. I would have thought they've done better. New England Revolution, they surprised me. Didn't think they would do as well, so I think they've been impressive. Philadelphia Union, a club that also didn't really have a great season compared to this season. Like, this season wasn't as good as last season. They still, though, they still did pretty well, and, you know, I think they'll be more than happy. Columbus Crew did pretty amazing as well. Been shout to them. I did not expect them to do this well. I think Orlando City, man. Orlando City have been amazing. I'm telling you, man, Orlando City are the real deal. I was really impressed with what they did against Inter Miami in that League's Cup. Round of 16 match, so I was really, really impressed there. And then obviously MC Cincinnati, like, they are the best club. They are the best club in MLS, the Eastern Conference at least. And look at the amount of goals they've scored. Look, 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 look how many points. 69 points, 20 wins, 5 losses. I'm sorry, 5 draws, 9 losses. It's interesting, though, they didn't score the most goals. So the most goals came to Columbus Crew, which is interesting. Um, but yeah, they had the best defense along with um, New York City FC and Orlando City. Yes, yeah, so actually Cincinnati, they're looking very good, man. Uh, looking very good indeed. And of course, I remember Brandon Vasquez from the Gold Cup particular. I believe he plays for that club. So we're going to go ahead and move on to the Western Conference. Look at this real quickly. So I believe this the thing isn't updated here, I don't think, actually. I thought it would be updated. Uh, let me check. Let me refresh. They didn't include these games for today. Um, yeah, because let me see. Hold up. Um, let me go to MLS. Hopefully no copyright position, copyright stuff here. 
Uh, I don't really want to get through in that. Okay, so Western Conference. Okay, so this is updated. Yeah, this is updated. Okay, we'll use this one instead. The Wikipedia one hasn't been updated yet, so we'll just use this one instead. So let me go ahead and make this little, put this right here. We'll do this way. So, um, obviously Colorado um, were the worst team at ML, um, MLS Western Conference. They picked up a whopping 27 points. This is really, really bad. I think even, um, they got more points in Toronto, but still. LA Galaxy, man, very disappointing. I'm very disappointed. I have a friend of mine at Sports, LA Galaxy. Been very disappointing. I thought they would do better than that, and they didn't, and very disappointed with them. Austin, another club also disappointed as well. 39 points. Minnesota, Portland Timbers, very disappointed from these clubs. I really expect them to do better. San Jose just squeezed through in the playoffs by one point. Kansas City, and then Dallas, man. Dallas barely made it through in the top seven. Vancouver makes it in six, and then fifth is Salt Lake. And then fourth we have is Houston. Third is LEFC, second is Seattle, and first St. Louis. Shout out to St. Louis, man. They have proven me well massively. It's a newly promoted club. They have been amazing it's from the expanded. And obviously, we're going to have San Diego, I believe, join the Western Conference next season. So that will be very interesting. LEFC, I'm surprised they didn't do as better as I thought they would. But, um, you know, ultimately, they did do pretty well, I would say. All right, so are the matchups confirmed? Do we have the matchups here? Uh, where are the ma I, because I think the I think the 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 playoffs have already been scheduled. Is the playoffs already there? Uh, let's see. Round one. Okay. All right. So we have the playoffs right here, guys. We have the playoffs right here. So this is the this is how the bracket's gonna look. Let's look at this, guys. So let's quickly look at the matchups. We're not gonna get predictions in this video. I'll be making predictions when the time gets closer. Although for the Wild card ones, I'll probably do a YouTube short for those ones real quickly. So let's go to the Eastern Conference one first. So as you can see, Eastern one, we have to play um, a New York Red Bulls on the road. That's going to be a very difficult game for Charlotte. Um, and it'll be very interesting to see what we can do there. And then obviously, Sporting Kansas City versus San Jose Earthquakes. And the Eastern Conference, we have FC Cincinnati will play against a wild card round winner. So whichever team wins a wild card, FC Cincinnati will win. And it's going to be like best of three matchups? Yeah, it's like best of like three matchups, I guess. So basically, wow, that's going to be very odd. So it's like two-legged, I think. Yeah, it's going to be a two-legged one. And then they'll have a third match if the if it goes to, if there is extra time, basically. So that's very odd. Then we have Orlando City versus Nashville one. That's going to be a very interesting matchup. Columbus Crew versus Atlanta United. And then New Philadelphia Union versus New England Revolution. And the Western Conference, you have St. Louis City versus the wildcard round winner. Seattle Sounders FC Dallas, that's a great matchup. LEFC versus Vancouver Whitecaps. And Houston Dynamo FC versus Real Salt. Like, that should be very interesting. I like the last one in particular. So, a very, very interesting there indeed. So, that's going to be it for today, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy this reaction. We went through uh, the MLS, you know, go through all in its entirety. And um, it was a great season, man. Great, great season. So, actually, let's go look at the top goal scorers real quick. I actually want to check that real quick before we head up. Because I do feel like if we don't discuss about that, it will look bad. So, let's look at the player statistics. So the top goal scorer was Dennis Buyanga with 19 goals. Luis Sanio Acosta with 16. We have three, um, several players tied at 15 and a 14 hat tricks. Several players scored a hat trick. And then most assists with Thiago Almeida, 17 assists. And Glenn Clean Sheet, Stephen Fry with the most clean sheets indeed. So I hope you guys did enjoy. Um, remember guys to like and subscribe. We'll be doing some more MLS coverage on the channel. I'll try to be more consistent with it next season. So next season, I'll probably do like, I, I know I was kind of starting to do this season, but I kind of, kind of forgot to do but yeah next season for the 2024 i'll definitely try to do like match day predictions in the community tab or maybe do like a youtube short or something i don't know we'll see man i'll probably do like a community tab post so yeah i'll keep you guys up to date and maybe next season we'll do like a weekly thing to cover like the mls stuff so hope you guys did enjoy remember guys to like and subscribe and tell me your thoughts in the comments below if you made it this far um also become a member of the channel gags members videos member streams and yeah i'll see you guys there peace out